Mabu hi, welcome guys another video which was requested by only video and today I know that it's very late but I'm going to be reacting to the Miss Universe Philippines 2022 pigeons. My name is Shisan Zianga and I post videos about the beauty pigeons. If you're interested in that, please consider subscribing to the channel and checking out my other videos. Miss Universe Philippines finals was done more than a month ago and today guys I bring you my reaction video. Please bear in mind that everything that I say here is just my opinion and my own style. You may agree or may not agree as some certain parts of it and I'm perfectly fine with it. I just feel like I should see what I had in mind. The show starts and I was confused whether those were the contestants or they were just dancers but one thing is certain guys and is that I love Bia there so much. I like how in most of the national pigeons this day they always give the winning crew like a chance also being the opening dance and showcase herself i think that's something that was also very nice about this one then i really admire the dresses also with this wing like thing i think that it was so beautiful and then the fact that all of the dresses like they were not entirely the same like they were different different and little different in their own way i think that it was another thing that was so nice and i enjoyed it a lot the music here just matched the way that they work and then the fact too that their voices for the introduction had to come from the background it was so nice like it just made everything here to match for me and i think that so far this is one of my best opening numbers then oh my god guys to so host the pigeons we we'll see pierre iris and demi that's miss universe 2015 2016 and 2017 all in one so when i look at this i'm like what else do you need like i feel like this miss universe philippines pigeons this year was such a reunion for many of miss universe title holders and i think that it was something too that was nice then when they said that the first squad was going to be from 31 to 16 contestants i was so happy because half of the girls were going to move forward to the next round unlike in some other pigeons whereby just 15 to 30 percent of the girls move forward into the next round then guys it was so sad that one contestant had to quit the competition like it was not really easy to have moved from top 100 to the top 30 and then just at the last minute you get sick or something happens that you have to leave the competition i feel so bad for her because that's just lots of preparation i just hope that she be able to compete in another page dance again then guys at the judging panel we we'll see many people there and we we'll see hannah shandu also i'm like oh my god i was so happy that i was able to see her there seriously then one thing too is that i wish that other people from the pigeon community could also be on the stage but however there's no problem and oh my god guys that's nandita right that's miss Nibir singapore look at this image very well i think that that's her then they start off by giving the special awards and they start with Miss Friendship and this award is being won by Miss Locoso so I like this award so much I feel like it's very important because in life there are some people who despite everything they are able to relate to everybody and I like this people a lot I feel like they are so gifted and I think that Miss Locoso she really deserves the award and she is so nice then Pasta eventually wins the Miss Photogen Award congratulations Abai wins the best national costume I also say congratulations then the another in the top 16 guys i have a list here so i'm just going to read from there we have nueva vizcaya tagik kibu city makati albay palawan iloilo province baguio city kibu province misamis oriental bohol locoso laguna pasai and iloilo city so i was so happy that after these eight girls out of my original tasting favorites were able to move forward in the next stage of the competition like it just made me to be so happy then I'm very sad for Miss Panga Sinanda's Ivy Lou. I hope she was the top 16. It's so sad that she was not there and I just hope that I can see her soon after in another pigeon. Then guys, at the break, listening to the stories of these girls when they talk about how the Miss Universe Philippines organization have transformed them, made them to become better versions of themselves and taught them a lot. I think that it was so nice because Miss Universe Philippines, I think it's not just all about dresses and fashion, but these girls when you look at what they explain like you can really see from there that they've learned a lot and are transforming to better women or better versions of themselves and that's another thing too that is so good then one thing too that i like is that the miss universe philippines did a very good job as far as coverage activities for the pigeons were concerned it's the swimsuit competition and i have to say oh my god it's so nice that they use these jackets like sweaters thing i think that it was so nice as compared to the normal cape that we usually see in the pigeons i think that is good and i also feel that pigeons are becoming more unique day by day especially at the national level i think that it was so nice 
So let me just go ahead and see what I think about the contestants when they came out in the swimsuits. For Noela Vizcaya, I'll say that I just think that she's okay with the world. Like she's just okay according to me. That gig, I love especially her energy, her smile, the hair, the look in general. I think that she's so good and you can see that she was just enjoying herself. And that's one thing that I liked about her when it came to the swimsuit competition. Kibu City. So unlike the other girls, her work was a little slower, which was good. But at the end, I'll say that I really wish that I could see more from her. Like, I expected more from her, seriously. Well, Aklan, so I think that Aklan is gorgeous, but for someone like me, I'm still looking for more in her. I just feel like this is underperformance. Makati, so I love Miss Makati so much, but don't get me wrong, I feel like in the swimsuit competition, her posing, her work, her style, her animations, I think that they could have been better. And one thing that I have for Makati is that I think in general, she's more better when it comes to the evening gown than at the swimsuit competition. Albai, so I think that Miss Albai is gorgeous, she has the face, she has everything. But just like Miss Aklan, I honestly really need more from her. Seriously. Palawan, Angelica Lopez. So Palawan was one of my favorites ever since from the preliminary because really that she had this sexy vibes and I like it a lot. But here she's good, but however, why is she not looking at the cameras or why is she not looking at me? Like, what's going on? What Luilo province? So I think that her look in general was so good, and then she also kind of like had extra time on stage as compared to the other girls. And I think that yes, she really knew how to use this time very well. Then guys, don't get me wrong, I really enjoy Filipino music, but I feel like this one, I feel like they would have used something more better for music that could have been able to give these girls more energy. Because for someone like me, honestly, if I'm working this stage and it's a kind of music that I cannot really vibe to, I'll not really do that well. But I just feel like that's one thing too that could have been better in the competition. Kibu province. So what I like about her in the competition was her smile. Then the way that she flipped her hair at the end, I think that was just so nice and just gave her a spot at the top of my list. Miss Samis Oriental. So she reminds me of Kirby from Dynasty. That's Madison Brown. And here, I think that she's good. But however, I wanted to see a change in expressions. And I think that she could have given us more, seriously. Miss Boho, so I like her a lot, she's great as she is. And she's giving us these soft vibes which I totally enjoy very much. And I wish her all the best in the competition because I think she's very different from the other candidates. A look or so. So looking at this, I feel like to me this is another girl who kind of like underperformed. When you have to compare it to the other girls who have been coming, I think that this performance was, it does not really go up to me. Laguna. So Laguna, the way that she worked, I would say it was just okay to me, like just average. Pasai, so Pasai is so beautiful and what I admire from her here were her facials, her expressions and the way that she was able to animate herself during the swimsuit competition. I think that that's one thing so that was very nice. Ilo, Ilo City. So I think that she's good, but if you look at the way that she's performing here very well, I think that she's kind of like lacking a little confidence. Maybe it's because of the fact that she's the last person to work, but I think that she could have given us more, but however, she's still okay. Then guys, oh my god, the host have a dress changed. Pia, Iris, Demi, they're all stunning, and Demi here looks like one of those Disney princesses to me, but I think that anyways, they're all beautiful. So, Miss Pasai eventually wins best in swimsuit, and I'll say congratulations, she's deserves it but my one of us which I wrote down with Tagik, Palawan, Iloilo province, Baguio, Cebu province, Misamis Oriental and Boho those were the girls who I feel like stood out to me in the swimsuit competition and guys will listen to some words from Bia so I feel like Bia is great Bia has been nothing but unique and amazing she's one of the best Miss Universe Philippines so far according to me and she's very different not only in terms of personality but the way that Bia represented herself at Miss Universe it was very different from what you normally see Philippines do like in the swimsuit, in the gown run Bia was just so different and different and it was so nice and I loved her a lot then one other thing that she was able to achieve was the fact that she brought Philippines to the top 5 of Miss Universe which lastly happened in 2018 when they won. So you can see that Bia has really helped the Philippines in every aspect. Bia is really good. I have to, I like what to say about Bia, seriously, she's just so nice. And guys, when Bia came up with this outfit, I was like, wow, it's what I talk about when I say unique, right? She is so beautiful here. Then she talked about going back to school. I'm like, oh my god, imagine me going to the same school with a Miss Universe Philippines, a beauty queen. I'll, when I see her, I'll be like, oh god. But nonetheless, guys, I think that very snob is popular guy, although. I don't have no fans in my school because most of my fans are from abroad, Philippines, Indonesia. Thank you all so much, by the way. But anyways, guys, I think that Bia overall is just so great, seriously. 
funny, emotional. She just gives me all kinds of emotions. Let's go back to Miss Universe Philippines. I also like how Shamsi Shup Shup, that the Miss Universe Philippines national director, took some time out to explain to us how it's not easy to host the national pageants from directors to stage to gowns to everything. And she has been in Miss Universe Philippines before, so she totally understands and she totally knows what she's doing. And I like her a lot. I feel like Shamsi is one of the best directors. Then, guys, I just want to use this moment to appreciate the Philippines when it comes to fashion. I think that they're way over the top in terms of design. Most of Filipino designers, most of their creations are just outstanding. And also, guys, please at this stage, please consider subscribing to the channel if you're interested in beauty pigeon videos. Then, guys, it's time for the evening gown, and this is my favorite in the beauty pigeons. And being able to see all 16 gowns, I'll say, wow, I think it's so good. Nueva Vizcaya. So, I think her gown is good, but however, I'm not a fan of gloves when it comes to the beauty pigeon dresses, so I'll just leave it at this point. Tagik. So, I feel like Tagik is perfect. Her hair, the dress is perfect, the necklace too. Like, the whole presentation in general is good. Then, the pose that she had at the end too. This is just outstanding. I just wish her all the best and I hope that she can move forward to the competition. Kebu City. So, the gown is good, yes, but there is just a lot of skin showing on this gown and I don't really think that it's my favorite to me. Don't get me wrong, the design of the gown is good, but the fact that the skin is just too much, it's not really my favorite. Aklan. So for Miss Aklan, I like especially the details of the gown. I feel like she could have done better, but however, I think it's okay. Miss Makati. So this gown is okay and still the skin, which I don't really admire. But what I think makes this gown stand out from the others is the way that she worked in it. Like I told you before that she's very great at the evening gown and this is it that we we are seeing here and then the leg too that was showing as she walked with the gown it was just so nice and just projected her very well and she's working it here as you can see i'll buy so guys honestly this is another gown so that there's just so much skin there for me so let me just say something guys i feel like in beauty pigeons you can do well in all the rounds from swimsuit to question and answer to gown but if your gown is not perfect like if your gown is not able to match with the crown and the sash I feel like that's where you are going to lose and okay guys just imagine this gown in the crown and the sash I don't know if that happened before but it's just gowns like this I feel like they are not just so good for pigeons at all it's just what I think Palawan so Palawan is still giving us this sexy vibes and I like it a lot it's good but I feel like the top of the gown is a little too distracting but however she's not looking at the camera or at us again and all of this, I'm just so concerned for her, seriously, because I'm just concerned. Iloilo Province, I loved her presentation, I like her work, I love the hair, everything in general is just so beautiful on her to me, and I hope that she can move on to the next round. Baguio, guys, look at this look. The yellow dress is just so outstanding and it's very unique. Then look at the way that her hair is and the earring, then the pose, then that smile at the end. Oh my god, Baguio is just perfect to me, seriously. I hope she can move forward to the next one in the competition. Kibu Province. So I like this gown a lot. I like this presentation. I like her outfit. I feel like it's just so, so good. And she kind of reminds me of Henye, that's Miss Nivers Vietnam 2018. I feel like she looks like her a little. But, anyways, I think that she's so good. It and I wish her all the best in the competition. Miss Sam is Oriental. So I like her a lot. I like the gown, but I feel like her hair was not the best, and honestly, it could have been really better. Miss Boho. So I love her a lot. She's still giving us these soft vibes, and that's what I enjoy a lot about her. A local soul. So the concept of this gown was unique, but however, I feel like her work was a little too scattered. But what just makes it to be okay is the fact that. The, the nature of the gown who just matches with the way that she was able to work in it so i'll just say it's okay and she's good and i like her personality a lot because you yourself you can see that she's just trying to enjoy herself and that's one thing to that i feel that it's good laguna so i love this presentation i like her a lot but i feel like she's kind of like working so fast here and it's not good for me i wish that she could have cooled down to so see more from her and what I like now is the way that she posted at the end is good, but however, I'm still concerned about that. Aside, so I like this gown a lot and the way that she works in it. What I enjoy the most are her facials and then the animation she does. Like, look at this. I think that is just so beautiful and I like it a lot about her. Iloilo CC. So this gown is so beautiful. The skin here is just okay to me. And this sexy pose at the end, I feel like it's so nice and I wish I would be best in the competition. So Miss McCarthy eventually wins best in the evening gown and I'll say congratulations. 
competition and she deserves it i told you from the start that she does well in the evening gown competition so these are other girls that i feel like they stood out to me in the evening gown round whereas Tagi, Ilolo province, Baguio, Kebu province and Pasai Make all of the women and the young girls feel like it is really normal to talk about their period all the time and whenever they feel the need to to ask for a pad it's normal to ask not just to a fellow women but also to men when we continuously discuss and talk about menstrual health you know eventually it will be normal and a lot of girls will pass on the education that they learn from their elderly and you know it will be a huge change in general for the society and the community so guys doing this advert bia said something that caught my attention and it was that it should be very normal for a girl to ask for a pad be it from a boy or a girl and i feel like this is something that is just so good because even where i am right now like there are still boys who kind of laugh at girls when they're going through their period and i think that this is something which is not so good like people need to really be educated more about it and girls should also try to feel comfortable they should not be shy about themselves and because that's one thing that makes them who they are that's one thing that makes them girls and they are just so good they have nothing to be ashamed of so guys they're about to call the top 10 and let me see the people that i want to see there i want tagik palawan Iloilo province Baguio, Kebu province pasai misamis oriental bohol and makati so i want to see them in the top 10 but however they announced the top 10 and they are makati pasai Baguio, tagik misamis oriental Kebu province bohol Kebu city albai Iloilo province and that's all so at this stage i'm kind of sad that Iloilo cc and palawan are not there like i like them a lot ever since from the start and it's so sad that they're not able to move forward in the competition it's a chit chat round and let's start with miss mccarthy hi miss mccarthy what's the most extreme activity you've done in your life well, I think the most extreme activity I did in my life is go scuba diving with sharks. I do have a taste for adrenaline and anything that kind of fills that rush really excites me. I do love choosing fear. I mean, choosing bravery over fear because that's when you really are brave enough to conquer your fears and that's something that's so important for every individual. Very well said, Miss Makati. Thank you. So Miss Makati's answer was mostly about choosing bravery over fear and I think that that was so good to hear from her. Thank you so much. You grew up in both Italy and the Philippines. Yes. What would you say are your best Filipino and Italian traits? If there is something that I can say there is in common with Italian heritage and Filipino heritage is that we are strong women and we always value family. <laughs> Thank you. And we always value family. If there is something that my mom always taught me is be grateful for your family, for your loved ones and the people around you. Because when you're grateful and kind, people will be kind as well and grateful for you. Thank you. So for Pasai, I love this answer so much, especially with the fact that she spoke about appreciating women and being grateful and kind. I think that the answer was just so good to me. Glowing in gold, Miss Baguio. Thank you. Good evening. You love to paint, right? Definitely. What's your favorite color in the rainbow? Oh, my favorite color is red. To tell you a story, red is something that signifies where I came from, where my hometown is. When I look at red, it's something that makes me powerful, makes me confident. That is why I know that with red, I am confident and beautiful with it. <laughs> Very well said. Thank you so much, Miss Baguio. So, Miss Baguio, speaking about her favorite color of the rainbow, that is red and it signifies her and what she's come from and what she has been through. I feel like the answer is good, but however, some girls have general questions and some girls have questions that are just relating to them. And at this stage, I kind of feel like it's so unfair that some people have questions which are kind of like way easier than others or which will be easy for them to give an answer. I just feel like it's unfair but still it's just how pigeons are but it's still kind of a little unfair to me but let's proceed hi pia i'd like to say good evening moa arena and good evening universe 
Mr. Gig, you already climbed eight mountains to date. What's your favorite so far? You know, one fun fact about this is I've climbed eight mountains with my eight-year boyfriend, and he's watching with us tonight. He is so supportive. And what mountain that I love? All eight mountains that I've climbed, because all of that is very memorable, because I'm with him. <laughs> Thank you so much. <laughs> wow, special mention. Thank you, Mr. Geek. So, Mr. Geek, she's so free and grateful, and I like that so much about her. And then, speaking about her boyfriends, eight mountains, eight-year boyfriend, I'm like, hey, wow. Oh my god, love conquers everything. Like, I want to fall in love soon, <laughs> seriously. What do you prefer more? To be seen on TV or to be heard on radio? First and foremost, I'd prefer to be seen on TV because both, both audio and visual, we do learn so much from that. And given my experience as a radio host raising social political awareness amongst the youth, I think it's about time that I take it up to the next level with this platform, Miss Universe Philippines 2022. Thank you so much. I got goosebumps. Thank you. Thank you. And Miss Sam is Oriental saying that she prefers to be seen on TV over the radio because over TV we have audio and we have visuals. I think that the answer is good and very good. Hi, Pia. What's the best feeling you get from riding a motorcycle? The adrenaline. Being a woman and the youngest among the family of four, people would always worry about me driving a motorcycle around town. But I believe it promotes bravery and it, it promotes that any woman can do whatever she sets her mind and heart into. Thank you. I think I'm gonna try that. Thank you. Guys, for Miss Kibu Province, let me just say that I like her gown again so much. The yellow, the design, everything about the gown is just so beautiful and the heads will just fit her so well. And then talking about adrenaline, I think that the answer too is good. I don't know if this one is going to be judged seriously because the questions are just... But anyways, let's proceed. Hello, Miss Pia. You are a free diver. What's your best underwater discovery? It's the beauty of Bohol in a completely different angle. And I wish more and more people could get into free diving so that maybe I could tour them when they go to Bohol so we can discover more of the beauty that is very unique from a different perspective because there's really so much more to Bohol and the Philippines than meets the eye. I think I'm gonna try that. Thank you, Miss Bohol. Then, guys, you see for Miss Bohol, what I liked the most about her was the way um, she talks. Her voice is just so nice and it's just so beautiful. Like, there's just something about her, I don't know, but you can see that she's just so nice to me. And then she talks about her city, Bohol, two times I appreciate it and tell the people about it. I think that that's one thing so that was so good. Good evening, Pia. You look absolutely stunning. Good evening, and you too. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> What's the best takeaway? way that you have from teaching? I am a deeply anxious and shy person. So teaching has always been about me claiming power, claiming authority, and claiming my voice. And so when I, when I started teaching, I learned to become this confident and outspoken person. And I realized that my voice was to be heard, whether people wanted to hear it or not, because whether they like it or not, they're paying me to teach them, so they have to listen to my voice. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. We wouldn't mind listening. Guys, listen to this answer. Oh my god. Damn. Okay, she said she's a shy person and that. Whether people like it or not, they have to listen to her. They have no choice because their pain has to teach them. I like this answer a lot. I also relate to the shy person thing and I just like the way that she delivered the answer. It was just so nice. And guys, whether I like it or not, you will listen to me because you subscribe to me for a reason. So I think the answer of Miss Kebu CC was one of the best so far and I really want to see her move forward to the top five because she's very nice. Miss Albai. What did you buy with the earnings that you had from selling candies at the age of 12? I would actually like to correct that. That wasn't my voiceover, but something that I'm really proud of. Guys, look at this. You can see that ever since from the start of the competition, they mistake her voiceover. I heard this very thing too at the swimsuit competition, whereby they said that 
she made money by selling candy when she was 12 and even in the evening gown competition that's what they said so i really wonder how people feel because I think she's really good because despite hearing something which is not about you you are still able to take it all in and perform well on stage and make it to the top 10 i think it's really good and that in pigeons i feel like hosts should be very careful or the producers in general because that sometimes they can make mistakes saying something about a girl that will just like drill them or just damage their spirit to compete again it's just that for her she's someone so that she could take it all in and now she has corrected us and let's hear what she has to say out of is actually when I was 12 my dad had a heart attack on the plane and our financial situation changed entirely they couldn't afford to send me to school so I withdrew from school but I knew that I believed I knew that I deserved an education I knew that I deserved a good future and so you know what Pia I bet on myself and I believed in myself and from then from 12 years old to 25 I financed my entire education on academic scholarships and I graduated magna cum laude with honors and, <laughs> and with that story I want to tell everyone here that you deserve it you deserve an education, you deserve a future, and you can do it. Because if I believed in myself and I did it, then I know that you can too. Okay guys, so we'll find out that she financed her education from 12 to 25 through academic scholarships and I'm like, wow, she's really intelligent and good. But however, at the end, if I were a judge, I will not really score this answer very high because you start off very well by talking about your scholarship years it's okay and then in the end now you come and then you're telling me believe in yourself if i can do it so can you i'll be honest that answer is good but if you have watching pigeons all the time you know that this answer is not something new at all like we always say this in pigeons you believe in yourself believe in yourself if i can do it so can you so i honestly wanted something new from her and for that reason i feel like at the end it just kind of like made the answer not to be so good again for me but however i think the story that she told us in general it was so good after finishing a marathon what do you reward yourself with i reward myself with rest i look at life as a marathon and although we have common goals to reach and want to achieve so many goals in life it's so important for us to rest and rejuvenate so that we can prepare ourselves for our next achievement especially when we are powerful women on this stage we have so much to thrive for and as someone who is so happy to be a part of the top 10 so unexpected i've known that through rest i've been able to achieve this moment right now and at the same time strive for more as a woman thank you okay guys then this answer i liked it so much whereby she spoke about after achieving something you reward yourself with rest so i can kind of relate to this thing because there are times where like let me say when you finish something big or a lot of work you think that the best thing to do is to party or do some kind of stuff and it's not really good when all you need in reality is just to rest take a day off relax your mind and calm down so i think that this answer is really good i can relate to her so much this is one of the best answers tonight and i hope that she can move forward in the competition so at this stage guys my top five is Baguio, Pasai, Kebu City and Iloilo province. I feel like those are the girls who stood out at the question and answer session to me and I want to see them move forward. It's time to announce the top 5 and starting up is Miss Samis Oriental. I'm like she deserves it so much, her answer was good and so congratulations to her. Miss Makat made the top 5 so I'll say congratulations. I think throughout the night she has been nothing but outstanding. Mr. Geek makes the top 5 and I'll say congratulations. I can imagine how your boyfriend is feeling now. The love is just so much. Miss Aside to makes it to the top 5 and I say congratulations, it is well deserved. Then finally guys, Miss Bohol also makes it to the top 5 and I say congratulations to her. I think she has been nothing but very good also. So at this stage, I'm sad for Baguio, Kebu City and Iloilo province. I think like those were girls who also did very well the question and answer session but unfortunately, they're not unable to move forward to the next round. Then I just want to see that I like when the camera angle switched to this. I just liked it a lot, like it was just so beautiful for my eyes to be looking at and it was so nice nice then it's a top five question and answer and i really wish that they could all have the same questions because so far they've been having but different different questions and in beauty pigeons i think 
some people get easy questions some people get hard questions and to me that's one thing too that i don't kind of like in the pigeons but however it's diverse and it's so good but that's just it that's just how these pigeons are i cannot change it so let's proceed miss miss, uh, miss oriental here is your question what is your biggest insecurity and how do you address it my socioeconomic status has been one of the biggest insecurities that I've had. Seven years ago, I was just a meager, marginalized orphan, starving and trying to make her way through. But now you see me, when you see me, think about how I've worked hard and studied even harder to be here and to aspire to conquer the universe. Thank you so much. For Miss 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 Oriental, I like her answer a lot it was so good and touching but i wish that i could like have more to hear about this story seriously miss makati here's your question what is your greatest fear and how do you try to overcome it honestly my greatest fear is making a fool out of myself sometimes but i conquer that by always putting myself in that kind of situations actually just joining a pageant was something that i was very scared about because of the pressure but i'm standing here in front of you hoping to be your next miss universe so that i can make my country proud once again ang minamahal kong pilipinas then guys for this answer it was so nice the way she delivered it she started by saying that she's afraid to make a fool out of herself and this is something that i'm also afraid of but when she then moves to the part whereby she said i'm standing here hoping to be your next miss universe not your next miss universe philippines i was like oh my god like she's already there she already has it she already knows and this is something that i like about her she's very confident and with this she's already at the top of my list seriously Good evening everyone. I'd like to thank all my supporters, all the judges. Maraming maraming salamat. Mr. Gig, if you could teach Filipinos one thing, what would it be and why? It would be start loving yourself. Me, as a person, I have a lot of flaws. I am not perfect. And I may not be the perfect Miss Universe, but I am here trying to conquer my fear, trying to be a better person, and pageant really helped me to be a transformed woman, to be truly uniquely beautiful. And I think that is what I be having in Miss Universe. That is my greatest. Thank you. Thank you very much, Ms. Tagik. Okay, so for Ms. Tagik, I feel like the answer was good. She really had more to say, and I wish that we could be able to share it, but however, time does not allow us. I really like how she stood there and said that I may not be the perfect Miss Universe because I have a lot of flaws. I think she's very honest, and I just love her so much for this. And I just wish her all the best in the competition. I want to see how far she's going to go. Ms. Pasai, if you could stop time for a day, how would you spend it? If I could stop time, I would spend it with my family, especially my mother. It's been two years that I don't see my family because they live in Italy, and I came here in the Philippines just by myself. So if I had a chance to spend one day, I would definitely be with my mom, and I would just tell her how much I love her and I miss her. Thank you. Pasai, she's a huge fan of her, right? And this answer is saying that if she could stop time, she would spend it with her mom. I think the answer is good, like it's so nice and from the way that she answered, you can see that it comes from the heart and it's very authentic the way that she answered. I just liked it a lot. Miss Bohol, what is that one life-changing decision that you've made and what was its impact on your life? The life-changing decision I've made was to join Miss Universe Philippines again. <laughs> Despite being bashed before, from my body, being doubted by people, I found strength in myself. And this story can be a testament for other people to draw strength from too. That a second chance can be as just as sweet and you can still achieve your ultimate a second time around. I can relate. Thank you, Ms. Bo for Ms. Boho, seriously guys, it's not that I noticed that it's her second time in the pigeons. I did not watch the pigeons last year. I'm still going to watch it. 
but I think that her answer is so nice and it comes from the heart. And what I especially admire about this is the fact that she said that everyone deserves a second chance and you can have a second ultimate, right? I think that is so good and I don't know, like this answer, it just touched me. I'm, I'm having emotions now, seriously, so... Yeah, I just like the answer a lot. Honestly, all of these answers tonight have been so great. All the ladies are gorgeous and it's so hard, seriously. So I think there is Makati, Pasai and Bohol. I think Miss Neighbors for the Prince is going to be from one of these TV because they have performed very well throughout the night and they have been able to tell us things that are just so over the top as compared to the rest. So I cannot wait to see how far it goes. So in the end, all the girls assemble and we see Demi, we see Iris, we see Pia and we see Hannah. Oh my god, they are just so beautiful and I like how this host always bottles dress changes the stage. I think it was so nice. Then it's time for them to welcome the court of Miss Neighbors Philippines 2021. And I was there, I really like how the Miss Neighbors Philippines organization still takes time to acknowledge top five from last year and give them a spot somewhere. I think it's so good and oh my god, guys, we see Maureen. Maureen is so beautiful. I've been a fan of Maureen ever since Asia's Next Door Model and I was really rooting for her last year but in the end she was the first one up. I love her so much and look at those cheekbones. She's still so beautiful and I like Maureen a lot. And then guys, we have Bia for her final work. So anytime I just see Bia on stage, I get emotional. I don't know why. It just happens because she's different and she represents many people, many of us. and. I just miss Bia a lot, seriously. I have, I just miss Bia, seriously. And then guys, it's time for the results. And we have second winner of there is Tagik. So I'll say, wow, she really did well. I mean, with that tough question and a tough answer, she was able to come in second winner of I'll say, congratulations, Miss Tagik. For first winner of guys, we have Miss Samis Oriental. I'm like, congratulations. I just hope that this is not going to be her last time that I see her on the stage. Wait, guys, I'm confused. Like, we still have three girls standing there. Are you trying to tell me that those might take a favor rights? One of them is fourth and fifth, and then one is the winner. It's just confusing, seriously. Like, because I think the answers were way better than the answers they gave before. And anyhow, let's continue. Let's continue. So, there's charity. So, um, charity is overall two place, right? Please correct me if I'm wrong. Miss Boho wins charity, and I'm happy for her, but. I just want to see her on international stage. I think that Miss Boho is just so nice and gorgeous. And I just hope that she will join another pageant again sometime soon. Then we have the final Super Sai and Makati. So at this stage, I'm confused. They have been very nice throughout the competition. And I'm just like, let the judges do their things. I cannot choose between them, like seriously. And then in the end, guys, Pasai wins the crown. I'll say congratulations. So let's take out there. I think. Throughout the night, Lester has been nothing but very authentic, herself, beautiful, and she has been stand out, and I love her so much. Miss Makati also, she has been doing very well since the competition started, and I just hope that she's going to be in another pageant again because she is way over the top to me, and I hope that she can represent the Philippines somewhere on the stage. I just want to see all of these top TV ladies on the international stage for the Philippines again, like seriously. I think Celeste did well for Pasai and looking at her performance, I think that at this stage she really has the upper hand as compared to some other girls who have been crowned for Miss Universe and I just want to wish her nothing but the absolute best and I know that Miss Universe Philippines organization is going to train her very well for Miss Universe and who knows, maybe she's going to be able to bring back home the fit crown for the Philippines. So guys, if you watch up to this point, I'll say thank you so much i appreciate a lot please like the video and comment below what you think of my reaction on the miss neighbors philippines competition this year so far please check out my little instagram and subscribe to the channel if you're interested in beauty pageant videos and thanks so much i'll see you in my next video